Um, I want to go real quickly through these things, melody, harmony, and rhythm. So uh, the melody is just uh, like uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb or Happy Birthday. Those are melodies. Those are s single s successions of individual notes uh, just uh, going, you know, forming some sort of line in a linear manner. So uh, when I was doing uh, uh, Mary, Had, yeah, Mary Had a Little Lamb, now I can play a harmony part if you've ever sung in a choir and you've sung a second alto part or a second soprano part and you sat right next to or stood right next to the person that's singing the first part you've discovered how difficult it is when it splits into that harmony can be a part that's above or below now if I play it by itself on the saxophone it's going to sound kind of weird it's, it's going to sound like I'm playing the melody wrong uh, you know, it sounds weird by itself, but if I play, if I actually, I should have had Tenny bring a saxophone. If we had two saxophones and we were playing, you would hear a melody and a harmony part. That was a high harmony part. So that's one definition of what harmony is. It's an accompanying part that can be above or below. And if you've ever sung in a choir, or even in church, when somebody who thinks they're quite a good singer singing behind you and singing some sort of descant above and stuff like that, that's harmony where it splits into those different parts. If you've ever done barbershop quartets or any kind of street, you know, street corner harmony type of stuff. The other type of harmony I can't actually demonstrate for you in this classroom. I have a piano in the other classroom. That's one or more notes. So when you have a chord, one, three, and five, or whatever. So I can't demonstrate that for you, unfortunately, here because I don't have a piano or anything. Uh, but that's another type of, when I can, and I can't do it with one saxophone, because I need to have more than one note playing at one time. So harmonies, and you'll hear an example of that in a second when I show you Diana Krall. She's going to be playing chords. So the piano player, the guitar player, they, their function largely, when we get to the jazz rhythm section, we're going to talk about the function of the instruments. Uh, usually the horn player, the singer, tends to be the person that's going to play the melody. It could be the guitar player. It could be the piano player, too, for that matter but that's usually the lead player. The harmony is usually the chords that we're going to be provided by a chording instrument. So it would have to be a piano or a guitar. I guess it could be a, an accordion in some uh, uh, instances. Uh, and then, uh, so that's two or more notes played. So chords, which I unfortunately can't play a chord for you right now. Uh, rhythm, uh, if I played the rhythm for you, we can go back to the classroom camera now, Randall. Uh, if I played it on this fine percussion instrument right here, You've already heard Mary Had a Little Lamb. So even though I'm not playing pitches, uh, most of you will have the ghost memory of that. Right? That's technically the rhythmic structure of that tune, which is sort of boring, right? It's just ba 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 ba. But, you know, if I started by playing. Blues by Charlie Parker, but most of you are not going to know what that tune is. It just sounded like I was having a fit on the drum, on the stand. You're just like, what is he doing? Now I'll play the pitches for you. This tune called Now's the Time. Actually, it was a big hit for a guy named Louis Jordan called The Hucklebuck. And uh, now if I go back to playing. There's actually, you can, oh, ba da 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 ba da 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 Even though it's a fairly simple melody, I, I played the melody, which was pitches that were lower and higher. I was able to give you kind of a contour, a line, right? Instead of just the rhythm. But if you come to Pandora's, and you hear, and I heard you doing it last night on drums, and uh, our other drummers where they'll play ideas and I'll play them back. I'll play the rhythmic ideas and sometimes they'll play the melodies because you can play them on drums even though you don't have specific pitches all the time. You have some general pitches, sometimes fourths, fifths, whatever, but you can give, still go a high drum, a low drum, a cymbal, you know, you know, you can do this. You can kind of really replicate that rhythmically, that kind of rhythm structure. So that's one de uh, definition of rhythm is the kind of the beat structure, the stops and starts, the pauses, and the density and the space that, that, that take place. Another uh, example of rhythm is what you have just did, the, the, the pulse, when you did. 
Or if you go faster. Some people will call, you know, that's the that's the basic, that's the heartbeat. That's we're gonna go boom 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 bing boom boom.